Hello, and welcome to the spring edition of On the Road with David Stordo. I know it doesn't feel like spring after the nor'easters we've had, but spring is in the air. And one of the things that's synonymous with spring is the Boston Marathon. And so today, I'm at Spalding, Cambridge, with Dr. Irene Davis at the Spalding National Running Center. Hello, Irene. Hi, David. How are you? I'm well. So tell us about the National Running Center. What goes on here? Sure. So <clears throat> the National Running Center is actually a clinical center and a research center. So we see patients who have running injuries, and we also conduct research so that we can help to inform our clinical practice. And these two centers actually are integrated hand in hand. And you know that research is a top priority for the Spalding Network these days, and we're trying to raise a lot of money to support expansion of research. Absolutely, and we're trying to keep those runners on the road their entire lifetime. So what's going on here? So here we have an instrumented treadmill. Um, this is Malia. She's one of our patients. Hi, Malia. Hi. And uh, this treadmill actually has two force plates. It's very high tech. Um, and so we can measure the forces under Malia's feet as she runs. Uh huh. And, and what's that thing on her ankle there? Sure. So that actually is an accelerometer. And this device measures the shock on the tibia. Okay, David, do you see these curves here? Yes. This is a force curve. This is the force her body's experiencing with every foot strike. We have a thousand foot strikes per mile, 20 miles a week. That's a million foot strikes wow. per year. Right? Yeah. Now, Malia has actually now learned to run with a very soft kind of foot strike. Yeah, you can even observe it in the way. She's kind of light on her feet, as they say. She is light on her feet, yes. So can you explain to me what Adam's doing here? Sure. So basically what we're doing is we're looking at the kinds of moves that are related to basketball. I understand that you've gotten an exciting new grant from the NBA to support some additional research. We're going to be studying collegiate and elite basketball players. They are very prone to bone stress yeah. injuries. We're going to be monitoring their impacts through games and practices. And Adam has a device on his ankle. It's an accelerometer mm -hmm. and it can measure the tibial shock when uh -huh. he does these maneuvers. From what about a jump, a jump shot? A jump <laughs> shot. So in yeah. forces, it's about seven times your body weight. Wow. Right? So that's a lot of force. Now, they yeah. don't do it as often as, say, a runner does, mm -hmm. but the forces are much Stronger, higher. Stronger, yeah. yeah. So I'm still at Spalding, Cambridge, now in the outpatient department with Dr. Adam Tenforte. Hi, Adam. Hey, great to see you. Great to see you. And you're going to tell us about this Alter G treadmill. Absolutely. So these are the, um, cool. the bike shorts, which will help form a seal around your waist. <laughs> yep. This is as close to being an astronaut as I'll get. There you go. This treadmill is a NASA developed technology, which has now made it out into the mainstream. So what we can do is we can adjust the amount of force that their legs sustain to allow the bone wow. the appropriate amount of loading to get stronger and then to facilitate a full return to their sport. But the other exciting thing too is that this has uh, applications beyond just sports medicine. We can help patients with neurological conditions mm -hmm. learn how to walk again to become a bit more confident in a protected environment. Wow. So now I'm here with Joanne Fusil, the VP of Operations here at Spalding Cambridge. And you know, Joanne, I've been looking around all the research areas and there's so much going on here. We're going to have to do this on the road in two segments. It's very exciting because most people think of Spalding Cambridge and only think of our inpatient and outpatient settings. Yes. Over the past few years, we continue to have more and more researchers coming here. We have space for them to utilize. We're able to integrate them into our teams. We're really excited. It's changed the culture here to be much oh, more innovative goodness. and focused on research. Yes, and we're excited to be part of this really strong and growing initiative. Thank you very much. So stay tuned for phase two of research at Spalding Cambridge coming up next week. Mm -hmm.